Where do you, wait, 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 wait. Where do you think you're going? I don't think I'm going anywhere. I'm going to my boat to do some work. Uh, not until you had something to eat. I already ate. What, an apple? Or did you crack open a beer because I happen to know those are the only things left in my fridge? No, I had an apple. And I had to practically choke it down because mornings aren't my favorite okay. time to eat anymore. I understand. But, Sam, you got to think about this baby, the nutrition. What did the doctors say? Folic acid and Please, calcium? Please, Jason, come on. You're going to make me okay. puke. Stop now, it. You want a glass of milk? I'm going to make you some scrambled eggs. You like cheese? No, no, Jason. I would like for you to leave me alone. I am perfectly capable of monitoring my own eating schedule and every other aspect of this pregnancy without your input. I'm sick of everyone trying to run my life, so just back the hell off. Okay. Jason, it's a perfectly natural state of being. There is a baby inside me, not a fatal disease. So stop trying to ram eggs down my throat. Thank you. Why is Sam pregnant? Why is Sam at your house? She's, uh, staying with me for a little while, Michael. Why? Sam's mean. She makes it always sad. Hey, Mike, Mike, listen. You don't want to step out of line now. Make her go away. She's not daddy's girlfriend anymore. Michael, Mike, here. Michael. You apologize to Sam. I don't want to. It, this, Ruth, this is unacceptable. You understand me? I'm sorry. Okay, so am I. I'm trying to get an inkling of how truly rotten my luck is. What are the odds of me saying I was pregnant with Michael standing right there? You have to consider him pretty high since you're standing right across the hall. Well, it was obviously an ill-advised move, if not plain stupid. And again, what else is new with my life when it comes to the bad decisions that I've been making? Okay. I think you need to rest. Just sit down, take a couple deep breaths. You've been in fifth gear all morning. You manipulative little bitch. If you ever try to hurt one of my children again, I will happily dismantle your life and let the pieces fall where they may. You have been mad at me before, Jason. You have yelled, you have screamed, you have slammed doors, you have called me crazy. But you've never abandoned me until now. And for her. That's just not, that's not what I'm doing. You are siding with Sam. You are giving her every benefit of the doubt and you are jumping to her defense when I need you more. I have not turned against you, Carly. I understand that you're hurt and that you're upset and I want your family together. But you of all people should understand that mistakes get made. Women get pregnant when, when nobody meant for it to happen. This isn't about blaming anyone. All that matters now is this kid. Right. Okay, you're right. At least we agree on that. The children do take priority, and that includes Michael and Morgan. So since you've made yourself responsible for Sam, keep her the hell away from my kids. Sam, you know what? I don't, I don't blame you for getting pregnant, but Carly was right about one thing. You need to be more aware of Sonny's family. You can't just start running your mouth whenever you feel like it. Why doesn't anyone understand that I am not trying to cause any trouble or hurt anyone here, Jason? Okay. Okay, I see it now. This has to be resolved. The uncertainty is wrecking all of our lives. I am taking that paternity test today. We're going to find out who the father of this baby is one way or another. Daddy made me understand about the baby. I'm sorry I was rude. No problem. Michael, I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, good boy. Now go inside and tell your mom that we're here. Okay. Sam decided to, um... Get the amnio done today. I'm taking her to the hospital right now. Thanks for nothing. Now what? Would it have been so difficult for you to keep your mouth shut until the test results were back? 
His son is the father. He's yeah, yeah, right I know. Him. He has a right to know. You've told me like a million times. You know, you are stubborn and annoying. But at least no one can call you inconsistent. <laughs>